about it. Roll them. Welcome back, everybody. This is Sierra London, and I have something to say. So today I want to talk about the strength of a black woman. I realized the other day the strength of a black woman when I went to a workshop seminar for entrepreneurs and they handed out free lunch. I do vegan vegetarian meals. Um, so the lunch that was free wasn't necessarily something that I wanted to eat. It was full of packages and preservatives and I don't eat those kinds of things, but it was a really good box. So instead of me being selfish and throwing it in the trash, I decided to take my lunch, go outside and go find the first homeless person that I could see. Now in this situation, I have some type of economical control and I like to exercise that. So I decided that not only am I gonna give to a homeless person, but I'm gonna give it to a black female homeless person. Go around the corner, one, two steps, boom. Went straight into two elderly black female ladies. One was hunched over, clearly had her whole life in a cart. The other one was walking beside her with a cane, bag lady style, all her belongings on her back. I walked up to him. I said, good evening, ladies. Would you like to split this lunch with each other? They said, oh no, baby, we fine. You go ahead on and eat that. I was perplexed, trying to figure out how could these women who are clearly homeless and need to take a bath and amongst other things, how could they refuse this free good meal? And that was when I realized the strength of a black woman because for centuries, we've always allowed our children to eat first and we would go hungry. So you take that and fast forward it into 2018, a homeless lady who clearly has her life on her back and she looks at me as if I'm a five-year-old baby and says, no, baby, you go ahead and eat. And it was at that moment that I realized that as black women, we have a problem with saying that I'm not doing so well today. No, I am not okay. You know what? I left my crown at home. Matter of fact, I left my crown somewhere and I cannot find it. We won't give the, you the satisfaction to knowing that we are not okay. And sometimes that is not okay. So I recognized that and my elderly sisters, and I still found their camp, left the lunch with a couple of dollars and every other snack that I had in my bag because I knew that she was hungry and I knew most importantly, she deserved it. If I had more, I would have given it to her. Tip for the fellas, listen to what we ain't saying, not what we are. This is Sierra London and I have something to say. <laughs>